mindysomething.org. I'm Miranda Hearn. I'm 16. I'm from California, Clovis to be exact. And I'm a military teen. I do something.org. I'm Kaylee Deacon. I'm 16 and I'm from Elk Grove, California. And I'm also a California military teen. Both Kaylee and myself have experienced recent deployments of our fathers. Kaylee's dad is in the Army National Guard and my dad is in the Air National Guard. And um, I can only speak for myself, but my dad was uh, deployed in, I believe it was 2007, to Afghanistan for only six months, which is a good deployment time, um, being as that a lot of other military girls go through a year and a half without seeing their mother, father, brother, sister, any type of family member that gets deployed and is in harm's way for that long. Um, during my dad's deployment, it was a really tough time for my family. I, I it was just my mom and myself, and um, it was it was really worrisome because all of our friends and um, everyone who basically wasn't in our military community just kind of didn't know how to act around us because it was a sensitive situation, and you know my dad was obviously in a lot of danger. And we didn't know if he was going to come home safely. I mean, we hoped and we prayed, but you just never know. Thank God he did. Um, but a lot of our community outside of the military community just kind of strayed away and didn't really talk to us um, and said a lot of hurtful things. And so I really felt connected to my dad and to, you know, kind of a relief that I thought he was going to be okay when I was around other military teens. Okay. I actually had my dad deployed from November 2005 all the way to February of 2007, which was a 14-month deployment for me. I have two younger sisters, making me the oldest in my household, and it was really hard for me to start out. I went to school with actually nobody around me, had another parent or guardian in the military that was recently deployed. I had no teachers, no counselors, quite understood what I'm was going through, I felt like I had to take on a bigger role in my household. I had a ma massive la drop of self-esteem and self-confidence, and I soon had to attend counseling because of this. But soon the military offered some programs and opportunities for me, and also Miranda here, so we were able to step in, up in our leadership role. And meet each other. And we came up with this idea because we saw the need first off, within ourselves, and the more we identified with other military youth from across California, we saw that they had the same need. The military teen girls ages 13 through 18 go through a really rough period when our parents or loved ones deploy. For any teenage girl, it's kind of a trying time, high school, obviously, but it's made worse through deployments and the uncertainty and the change in family dynamics. And it, both of us noticed a drop in our own self-esteem when we pride ourselves on being these champions of change and these, you know, very confident females, but we were dropping in our self-esteem, our grades, and our self-worth because our parents were gone and everything was different and everything was tense. And so, hey, Kaylee, you want to expand upon <laughs> yeah. that? Uh, a lot of people in our communities weren't able to understand us. And soon after, me and Miranda had the opportunity to attend the women's conference in 2008 with Maria Shriver. And we were able to see a new role that we could take up in our community. And we would like to start a conference of our own called... It's called the Sisterhood of the Traveling BDUs. And we're actually in a hotel room in Sacramento right now. Um, because we have a briefing tomorrow with Maria Shriver's office. It's her special events coordinator. And our program is already in action. We're getting the ball rolling. This is the first annual. And um, we just want to make clear that both Kaylee and myself are juniors, and this will be all the way up into next March of our senior year, which is um, the projected dates for our event. And we want to just kind of make it clear that we're not doing this to put it on our resume because in all honesty, our college applications will be sent in far before we could ever put this on our resume. But we're doing this because we see a need, we feel the need, we live it. And we have our idea we think is the solution. 
You want to talk more about the conference? Yes, um, this conference is actually hoping to be two days and we're going to host it in Fresno, California. And we'd really like to touch base with the females that are around our ages 13 to 18 to help them in their self-confidence and their self-esteem. And we'd like to unite all these military girls from across California. And we'd also like to help them build up their leadership roles in their community. Our mantra for this event, okay, drum roll it, is unite, inspire, lead. And that's what we hope this conference will achieve. And our specifics, we are going to bring together 400 military girls ages 13 through 18 from any branch of service. With immediate fem members of the family in the military. From all across California together in one place for a weekend. And we're also going to have 100 military female young service members act as chaperones and mentors. We are growing the sisterhood, this mentoring program with the efforts of boosting each other's self-esteem, uniting together in sisterly support, and also reaching out and helping our communities. Um, this project is actually going to be a really huge thing. This is actually going to be me and Miranda's senior project and the military and a lot are kind of scared of what we want to do right now because our sponsors, mm -hmm. we have to find a lot of sponsors for this event and we're really hoping to make this an annual event just not a one-time thing and we really want to see these girls grow from this so we're trying to get as much support as we can. Definitely. We've had generals, you know, we briefed generals uh, it was a couple of weeks ago and we were pitching the project and everyone was excited about it but just picture this, these big army generals that everyone rushes to salute when they come in the door. We got them excited about lip gloss and fuzzy slippers. Oh, yeah. This is how we feel about this project. It's needed, it's necessary, and it will last. Now, Kaylee and I, we really want to leave our legacy with this project. I mean, we are kind of leading the California military youth right now, and we're about to graduate. And we see all of these other youth and we're like, well, what's going to happen to all these programs? Who's going to take up the leadership roles? This is the solution. Yeah, so we actually need to do something about this and we're hoping this is the way to start it out. Yes, so please do something.org. Help us leave our legacy and do something. Thank you.